Hello, it's still 2017 and Jackson and I are off to procure my two favorite um, New Year's Eve traditions. One, bubbly. Two, donuts. So in Germany, when the clock strikes midnight, well, obviously you kiss your loved ones, blah, 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 you know. And then, and, then, and then you have a Berliner, which is not a person from Berlin, <laughs> contrary to what you might think, but it's a donut filled with jelly. So we're gonna go get a dozen, I think. I think that should do. And then we will bring them along to our plans tonight. But I'm pretty excited. So we're headed to Dunkin' Donuts right now. Hopefully they're not closed yet. And we're gonna grab not just jelly filled ones, but a whole assortment of goodness right now. All right, this, this is it. I've just done my makeup and I've just done my hair and we may or may not have had a donut already. And if you remember from my homeware haul, these are finally coming in handy. They're uh, too pretty to use on a daily basis, but I feel like for New Year's, I can handle myself <laughs> and not break them. So I'm having a little drink to get in the spirit. And I've just curled my hair. I'm about to brush it out, but I'm letting it kind of gel <laughs> with some hairspray to hopefully retain some of the curls. My hair wants to be straight all the time and therefore it just pfft, every time I curl my hair I'm hoping this will stay. It's not really humid outside in fact it's just dry and cold and it's gonna be the coldest night of the year and I'm going out in tights. That's gonna suck but that's all right. So I guess I haven't really told you guys what our New Year's plans are. Um, one of my friends that Jax and I both know from undergrad um, invited us over impromptu so that's what we're doing. However I have just realized that we are going to what is the busiest area of New York City tonight, which is Times Square. Um, our friend lives pretty close to where um, the MTA station is for Times Square and where Port Authority is, so I'm not even sure that we are going to be able to get out at that station or whether we will have to walk, and that is not ideal. I was planning on wearing heels, but I think that practicality will probably win out and I'm gonna put on some sensible winter shoes because it's gonna be freezing everything is already iced over outside and we don't need a broken leg to start 2018 so yeah otherwise I am wearing a top from Zara which has a really cute um, lace collar line and then this blazer which I got at an outlet at a BB store so long ago but every new year's it comes back out it's perfect for this occasion because when else can you wear a sparkling blazer never unless you know you do in which you do you but um yeah at least every new year's this is a staple and for my makeup i've gone i've tried to go quite holographic but i think well i i tend towards like the the rosier tones, I guess, when I use that stuff. I also have like blue holographic, green, but um, not really that great on my face. So I've gone and toned it down and I thought I would talk you quickly through the products I used. We get closer. So you can see I used a really nice highlighter from Becca Cosmetics, which is called Mm, prismatic amethyst I featured this in my holographic tutorial like way 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 back I think it was my first video on YouTube but um, for that one I went like full on everything on my face this one I toned it down and I tried to you know take a step back and kind of just decide on the essentials that I wanted to use and then everything else is more normal eyeshadow colors and everything because this is a more grown-up version of that look basically um, so this is the highlighter it's this rose color um, and I love it it's really hard for me to wear because my skin undertones are yellowish and this is probably even nicer on fair skin but I think for today it did quite well I also layered that with my usual which is the Moonstone Becca powder and put that on my I put it a little bit underneath because it's a little bit lighter that one is actually not as intense as this one surprisingly it's just a little bit colored and then I put that on my brow bone as well and then for my eyes I used 
this. This was a Christmas present from my secret Santa, which was my sister. And that's the Charlotte Tilbury Vintage Vamp palette. It looks like this. There we go. And it's got a really lovely champagne color, which I put kind of like right here. And then I put, okay, so Swerve. I use this on my face all the time and today as well to contour. But one of these contour colors is also great to contour your eyes. So that's kind of the base I put down. And then, um, whoops, went in with this color. Um, pretty much all through my crease over the top of it. And then I put this color just in the corners of my eyes so where it gets darker to smoke it out. So this is kind of a um, purplish, not purple, burgundy smoked, smoky eye. And I find that looks the best on me because I have sort of a green tone to my eyes so it brings that out. So I love this palette. Thank you very much, dear sister. And then the piece de resistance. This comes out for all parties. This was a find that you can only get from the Mac Pro. Oops, excuse me. Pause. Alright, so. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, so this is the secret holy grail product for our parties, which is a Mac Pro product. And we found this at um, the Ellen outlets in Florida because they have a Mac store and they oftentimes sell um, like the holiday kits that they put together. And one year it had Reflex Pearl glitter powder in it. This stuff is magic. It's basically colorless. It's basically just glitter. And if you can see, you can see it sparkling on my eyes. That's what this is. So it's very fine. And it just turns everything into a party, essentially. What I teamed that with is this, um, I don't know if you can see this, it's like a purplish holographic glitter, also from MAC. I don't know the name because it's in this like makeshift container. Oh, actually, Lux About is the color. And it's, it's basically like in the inner corners. So you can't really, really see it anymore, I think, because I mixed it so much, but these two. Mm -hmm. And then for the drama, this um, tattoo eyeliner from Kat Von D, always for the flick, and then the YSL, mm, what's it called, mm, one second, the YSL The Shock mascara for my eyelashes. So that's pretty much everything for my earrings, I've gone for these teardrop earrings that are very sparkly. Basically, the theme is sparkles tonight. And I'm going to be wearing this perfume, which is Replica by the Fireside, because it's gonna make me feel like I'm warmer, even though I'm not warm outside. And it's just a very nice winter perfume. So, yeah, I think that's about it. That's my look. I'm just wearing a black, black skirt, black tights, black cashmere boot socks that I'm gonna pull up as high as they go over my knee and um, whatever warm shoes that I can walk in that I find over there on my shoe rack. And that's the new year look. And there we have it. So we are going to look at our quiche. I think it just came out of the oven. And actually we're not just gonna look, obviously we're gonna eat it. And then we're gonna take those dozen donuts and the bubbly and whatever other drinks that I have in the fridge, which I think is white wine. And we're gonna try to make our way to Midtown and hope we, we get there. And not only that, that we can get back because that's the biggest problem, really. It's clock turns midnight, ball drops, and then everybody leaves, including us, to somehow make it back up here uh, safe and sound for 2018. So let's go see what that quiche is doing, shall we? I think it's ready. Ta-da, it's ready to consume, and I'm very excited about it. We had to use phyllo dough this time instead of puff pastry, which is what I personally prefer, but um, this dough is fine. Apparently, puff pastry was sold out, so I don't know what everybody here was making, but I guess it involved that. But yeah, so this dough is kind of funky because it comes in really thin uh, sheets, so I just usually just drape it but then it ends up making this really strange pattern 
all around like crumpled paper. It does still taste good though, so I guess that is the main thing. And yeah, this uh, quiche has asparagus, cheese, and turkey bacon in it. A classic. So this is quite possibly the most dysfunctional party outfit ever. We have the New Year's Eve crown, of course, followed by this thing and these things and a sweater over my blazer and these boot socks, but lacking tall, warm boots, I am having to wear in my Tims that I usually only wear on site. So the vibe is dusty rustic today because oh yeah and the scarf and we're about to don a, a down jacket also excuse the mirror apparently it's very dirty and i had no idea um are we looking cute for 2018 <laughs> I'm ready for my close-up. Say Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Woo! Happy New Year! Mm -hmm. Here's to a year with this lovely lady. 